Hey, here's a video I am significantly overdue on making. Which molecules have the higher vapor pressure given two or three choices? Well, the answer is that the higher vapor pressure will go to the molecule with the weaker intermolecular forces. If you consider a liquid, what you're measuring with vapor pressure is how easy it is for molecules to escape to the gas phase. Molecules that have weaker intermolecular forces feel less stuck to the other molecules and thus escape easier, increasing the pressure in the gas phase. So higher vapor pressure goes to weaker intermolecular forces. Remember, hydrogen bonding and ion dipole forces are the strongest of these. Dipole dipole is kind of a middle strength intermolecular force and London dispersion forces, those ones that come up when there's no polarity or hydrogen bonding are the weakest. So let's do some, uh, I mean, this is just me explaining what I explained here. Stronger intermolecular forces mean the molecules stick together more, which means it's more difficult for them to escape to the gas phase, which gives them a lower vapor pressure. If we're looking for higher vapor pressure, we need the weakest intermolecular forces. So let's circle the molecules with the lowest, lowest vapor pressure. Wait, that means highest or strongest intermolecular forces. Hydrogen bonding will rule the day here. Uh, acetic acid, CH3COOH, versus c 3 h c 2 h 6 well, I see an OH here, and there's no OH here, which means this has hydrogen bonding, which means it has the stronger intermolecular forces, which means it's tough for molecules to escape from the liquid into the gas phase, which gives it the lower vapor pressure. Ah, uh, pretty easy, right? How about this one? CHF3 versus CF4. Now, I don't want you getting all excited and saying that there's hydrogen bonding here. If you're careful about the Lewis structure, this is a carbon with three fluorines and one hydrogen. The H and the F are not connected to each other. What is significant is that a CF4 molecule is a symmetrical tetrahedron. It has a fluorines pulling equally in all directions which means this is polar and this is not. The polar molecules have dipole-dipole forces. The nonpolar molecules only have London dispersion forces. Dipole-dipole forces are stronger, which means it has the lower vapor pressure. Huh? C20H42, C30H62. No hydrogen bonding for either of them. And carbon-hydrogen bonds are generally nonpolar, so neither of them has dipole-dipole forces either. But London dispersion forces say, in general, bigger molecules have stronger London dispersion forces. So, stronger London dispersion forces, stronger intermolecular forces, lower vapor pressure. Ah, uh, pretty cool. Br2 is just two Brs single bonded together, nonpolar. I2 is two Is connected to each other, nonpolar. It's going to come down to London dispersion forces. I2 is the heavier molecule, so it will have the stronger intermolecular forces and the lower vapor pressure. If this had have said highest vapor pressure, we would have picked the ones with the weaker intermolecular forces on a relative basis. But other than that, I hope you find this pretty easy. That's just the way it goes. Best of luck to you.